Hi, I'm Matt Molnar at the New Covenant Church in New York, Malone, New York, and I have worked for the last several months on designing a new video system for our church. I work closely with Jason Jenkins at the DVE store, and uh, he was an invaluable source to recommend gear to help me get set up and troubleshoot and so on. This has been quite a process to set up. Um, we've been videotaping for years using a um, Adderall mixer, and so we pulled all that out and started from scratch, basically. So I want to give you an overview of what we've done in the hopes that it may help somebody. I am taping myself right now through Mimo Live, which I'll explain in a moment, and my iPhone tethered to it. So you're getting all of the little, you know, iPhone stuff on there. Sorry about that. And uh, we also um, have a terrible audio lag um, that uh, uh, we have in our crosshairs to fix that with an audio program. So that's going to be um, a thing of the past shortly. Anyway, let me give you an overview of our gear here, and then I'll show you our sanctuary and where our cameras are situated. Starting here, um, we are using a Blackmagic Design, mostly Blackmagic Design gear. This is a TV1 Studio mixer, ATEM mixer, and a HyperDeck Mini recorder. Uh, what you can't see down here, you can see a little bit, is a um, Ultra Studio. And that brings our signal into our computer so that we can use, finally, Mimo Live on this iMac, 21.5-inch iMac. And Mimo Live is our production software. It is awesome. We really, the more I use it, the more uh, I find. And it's just incredible. So anyway, also... In our gear here, you'll see we're using a huddle cam uh, joystick to control two cameras. And then swinging around our audio, right here is a Presonus mixer. And way over here is our 27-inch um, iMac. And we run Pro Presenter software on that for our song lyrics and scriptures and so on during the service. So... This is all integrated, took a lot of work to figure it all out, make it all work well, but pretty happy with it. It's really working well right now. So um, let me just uh, switch things over. I'm going to turn off the iPhone, and this is going to give you a view of our sanctuary. Um, this is our main camera, and it is a PTZ Optics 12X zoom camera, which we control here with the Huddle Cam joystick controller. Uh, and it goes into the switcher, obviously. We have two of these. We have this main camera. It is the SDI version. Uh, we have another one. Um, this is the side camera. You can see me there. And uh, let me just pull up uh, a preset here. This, is, this will be a side view. So going from the main camera to the side view camera. And we have a third camera, which is on, um, right there, a third camera showing the stage view. And I want to cut back to camera, the main camera, so you can see that. You can see it off to, well, I'm going to have to move this for you here. You can see it off to the right. No, pan around. We normally wouldn't do this live, but uh, here we go. There, if you can see that, we have um, we have this on an eye footage boom arm uh, camera crane, and uh, this is um, just an awesome setup here. It allows us to move very smoothly around and get those close-up shots of the musicians and and the speaker and so on. So that is uh, camera two. So let me move back. There's the view from that camera right now. And then, uh, let's see, we're going to cut to camera. Cut to the side camera here. We'll pull up a preset from the side camera and swing it right back around. There's, again, a side view of our sanctuary. So... What does this do uh, for us? It gives us multiple views, obviously, and allows the guys from the back to control two of those cameras here. We need an operator on the stage cam, but we right now are just putting in a static position. 
and uh, so you can easily do that and you know move it as necessary. Um, everything is working really well at this point. Um, some of the things we wanted to do obviously was to push uh, one of the cameras um, or one of the inputs rather and that is our ProPresenter feed, our scripture software up to the front screens. So if we will go back to camera five here, you can see, uh, let me see, call a preset up, there we go. You can see the televisions in the front um, on the right and left. And right now it's actually a pro presenter feed going into those, which uh, we can pull up at any time on our live stream, um, or we can send them to the TVs in front. And the way we're doing this is we're, uh, that iMac is going into the ATEM mixer um, in channel one, and we're designating our aux out as channel one. So it's a pass through. It goes to the TVs all the time, unless we choose to um, modify that and send something else up. Another cool feature of the ATEM. So pressing the aux button, I can send any camera I want up front. So let's just set the side camera up front. And now the side camera is um, projecting its view on the television in front. And so, for instance, this weekend we're having a concert and some guys playing guitars, uh, really excellent guitarists. So we're going to do some close-ups with the stage cam of the, you know, fingering and all that, and, um, and we'll shoot that up to the television so people in the congregation can see those up-close views. So the aux out is awesome and very flexible. Okay, now let me get back to, um, there we go, myself. Here we are. Um, this gets a little bit hairy trying to do this. Um, anyway, I'm taping this all right on through the ATEM or the uh, MIMO Live software. One of the features that we have done is, uh, or incorporated, is really cool. Using the Ultra Studio um, here, well, let me see it here, that's hidden behind this multi-view monitor, um, we are able to send, MIMO can send its, um, its output back to the Ultra Studio, and then looping out of the Ultra Studio, on one of the SDI outs, I'm going into channel 8 of my ATEM mixer. So if you follow me, the output of MIMO with all the lower thirds and graphics and all of that are pushed back out now into the mixer. Otherwise, you wouldn't see all those lower thirds graphics and so on, which, um, you know, are very cool. You can see um, we have all this stuff available to us welcome screen, whatever you want. Now, normally we wouldn't be able to, um, to send that, for instance, up to the TVs because MIMO's output, you know, is recording to hard disk and not going back to the mixer. But now with the SD out, SDI out function of MIMO going into the Ultra Studio and back to channel eight on the mixer, if I choose channel eight for my aux feed, then whatever MIMO is producing, graphics and all, goes up to our television monitors. It's very nice. One of the great features of this is using MIMO Call and Reporter, a small app that MIMO gives out. You can pull up your iPhone, and I've tested this extensively. It works great. Pull up your iPhone. You get a one-time code to connect to MIMO. So all you have to do is enter it once. And then when you pull up the app, it says Join. You hit it. And it goes three, two, one, and you are live, and you're a source, wherever you are in the world, you are a source into this MIMO session. And they can use you in a picture-in-picture, -picture, full screen, any way they want, and as they would any other source. And so, for instance, for us, if I'm on a missions trip, I can check in to the congregation. I'm in Romania. It's eight hours ahead. In the afternoon, I can check back with our church congregation and talk to them live and say, we had a great morning in our service today and hope you're having a great day. And we can interactively actually talk, audio, video, and it is crystal clear and works like a charm. So I'm really happy about that. And we can only do that because we're sending the signal out of MIMO back to the Ultra Studio and into the mixer, which allows us to 
aux it out to the televisions up front. So those are a few things. Um, there's probably more that I'm forgetting, but I wanted to get this out and um, just give an overview of our system. Um, we have the audio issue to work out. We're pushing, by the way, all of our channels, all 16 channels we're pushing out into main, main stage, and that is the audio source that MIMO is using. So we're able to pull all of our channels and then post-mix them, do our own mix for video, um, and record that rather than the mix for the room. So you audio guys know that you need to do that. So anyway, um, so far so good. Any questions? I hope this has helped somebody. Any questions, please feel free to ask. And um, yeah, uh, just uh, real happy to be able to uh, to get this done. It's been quite a process. Again, thank you, Jason, at the DVE store for all of your help. Also, the guys at PTZ Optics are great help, great technical support for their cameras, and uh, Blackmagic Designs. Uh, I had an issue here and there, and they answered my questions. So, yeah, we're getting along. Thanks for watching.